Hello everybody and welcome back. This is video, or episode 3 rather, of the new Minimator 0.5 beta. Um, this is going to be a, a new features video part 2 because I did miss a couple in the beginning. Um, I, one I want to hit right here at the beginning is the blocks. So if you add a block, um, you can do the normal switch thing and instead of having to scroll through the list and trying to figure out what the ID number of the block you're looking for is, you can actually click this block, grass, and here you can just scroll through everything. Now if you still know the ID number, that's fine, you can find it, but now it's a lot easier to find names. For example, let's do a cauldron. Ooh, end portal. Ooh, that one's not coming in. Uh, cauldron. And I'm not sure what data is. Oh, let's mouse over it. The additional data of the block, identical to Minecraft, use mouse wheel for more precision. All right, options. Interesting, I'll have to ask David about that. Anyway, there you have it, the cauldron. Good to go. Now, um, it's, let's do an item. And here it's just the same, you click the item you want to do. Alright, scenery, none loaded, let's load a couple, schematics, uh, trees, okay, trees it is, and it was real quick, but you saw that loading schematic thing, so it, it, it so it's so you don't think your Minecraft crashed. Alright, we've got a little patch of trees, very nice, very nice. Um, now with all of these things you're adding, you can change the terrain ping file and something that David added in beta 5.1 which is awesome let's actually go let's start with a block um, let's click off this let's actually get an ore oh what's fire oh fire's not in here yet all right uh, gold ore so you've got your normal minecraft gold ore here but let's say, you know what, I want to use a different texture pack thing. Uh, let's change the terrain. Alright, let's browse. I downloaded one earlier. Let's find it. Um, okay. Actually, let's do this one. Terrain. Uh-oh, what's this? It's Fax Pure BD Craft, and this is the 128 version. Um, David added HD Texture support, so you can now um, input HD Texture pings, HD Item pings, I can do it with the swords as well. Uh, let, let's go ahead and do that, let's change this to an item, let's pick a diamond sword, uh, let's browse, oh, oh wait, yeah, browse, oh, where was it, desktop, textures, We'll do the 128, open. Now this does, because it is a bigger file, it is a little harder, well it does take a, a little bit more CPU to put in and you may experience a little bit of lag, um, and I'm just getting probably some extra lag because um, I'm also recording on the same hard drive. So you've got your sword here. And something else I found, um, if you look here on the right, there is a little click box that says 3D item, whether to use wieldable 3D item or hovering TD one. So if I unclick that, you get the graphic of things that you've thrown on the ground. So it starts floating like that. So you can kind of just go nuts with that as far as, you know, for your animations, having a showcase of things that are floating, whatnot. Um, something that's kind of a love and hate relationship that I uh, found with this is it does rotate with the camera. Now I don't know, yeah, it rotates with the camera. So for example, if I go, um, nope, up above, okay, it kind of rotates around, which is good and bad. Um, it will follow the camera, which means you're always going to see it when you're flying with your camera around in your animations. And you can see I'm kind of getting a little bit input lag here, going back back and forth. Um, just using these HD textures, as in Minecraft, will take a little bit more CPU to use. But I thought this was awesome. Um, oh, all right, we're back. <laughs> um, it's cool. It. Uh, it's got, oh, I keep clicking things. 
All right, <laughs> we got a book. Yeah. Anyway, um, HD textures can now be used, which is a very nice additive. So let's try it on the scenery. Let's go to. Uh, let's just use this one. And what do you know? We've got Sfax Pure D Pure BD Craft trees and flowers. Now to go a little bit further, you're like, well, you know what? The ground is still looking bad. Um, let's close the library. Let's go down to background and the default terrain of the background can be changed as well. So let's pick this and voila, the grass is now 128. Now if you use the 64 by 64 version, you will not lag as much as the same with Minecraft because it is a smaller image and less to load, less particles. Um, but this is a cool little additive, HD textures in your Minimator videos. Um, now I haven't experimented with an HD skin, um, but I will let you guys know on that. So, um, let's add a couple characters. Uh, okay, uh, let's move Mr. Steve to position so we can see him. Uh, loving these arrows things. Very nice, very easy to move your guys around. Um, hit the rotation, and now, let's see, I want the blue one. Swing him around. All right, he is looking at the trees. So, to get off those little arrow things, you just close those boxes over. Oh, while we're in this menu, um, there are a couple more options here in the rotation. If you right-click on the circle area here, you now have reset to zero, set to 90, set to 180, and set to negative 90. Um, just some quick, quick presets. But also, you have the manual input. So if I want um, 246, and I don't want to scroll all the way there and mess around with getting an exact, I just type 246, and voila, I got 246. You can do that with, um, on the rotation wheels. You can do that on the scale slider. You can do that oh, on the alpha slider. I am getting some lag from this HD texture. <laughs> um, and on the alpha slider. So we're actually going to kill this. Remove this. All right. And for our background, we are going to default. Okay. So, those were some cool things, HD textures, manual inputs with sliders, and things like that. Now let's see if there's anything I missed, which I'm sure I have. Um, visible locked parent. I did show the locked parent in, uh, addition in new features video one, so if you're looking on how to lock things to a parent, go ahead and check out that video as far as your weapons go and things like that. Now there was one more thing I wanted to do, but I'm having a sort of a brain fart. All right, and we're back. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there, what I wanted to show you guys. I'm um, looking at the change notes. This is another cool thing. Now I showed in a previous, in the beta uh, 0.3 video of how you can um, move multiple characters at once, but you could only move the same model, meaning I couldn't move a skeleton model and a Steve model at the same time, but now you can. Uh, David has added that, so if I select the arms, now what I've done is I've added two characters. I go down to the timeline here, select both key pr keyframes by clicking and dragging, or clicking one and holding control and clicking the second. Um, click the body part I want to interact with, and I can grab the slider of one, and it moves both. So now you can get your synchronized dance party going very nicely um, by animating multiple models at once. Um, so as far as added things since point three, um, none of the thing, none of the models I thought that were added were actually added. But he did add some blocks. He added the spruce birch and jungle planks, iron bars, glass panes, enchantment table, cauldron, sandstone stairs, emerald ore, block of emerald spruce wood stairs, birch wood stairs, and jungle wood stairs. Um, you can also zoom on the uh, timeline here with your mouse instead of having to come down here and click that thing, which is a nice added feature. Um, now as far as instances go, 
I will have a dedicated video for that in the future, um, but just know it's a cool thing to uh, add multiple things of one character without filling up your character frame here. So it's very nice, very nice. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if it was inspired by my torch animation, but the uh, lights can now correctly be locked to body parts, meaning they're not going to swivel around all crazy like if you watch the making of my torch video. Um, kind of the the things I had to go through to make that actually work, but now it works a lot better. So, um, David has been working very hard on this. I, you know, I'd give him a high five if I could, but uh, he's kind of a plane right away. So, this ends uh, New Features Part 2, and coming up this week I will actually go in depth on the different, just pretty much a new tutorial of how to work this new system here for you guys. So, as always, if you've got any questions, specific questions, comments, or things you're just not understanding or need help figuring out, go ahead and leave them below. I try to tech check a couple pages of the forums on Stuff by David forward slash Minimator, but I don't always have time to do that. So, hopefully he can help you, hopefully I can help you, and we can enjoy this wonderful program together. I will catch you guys later. This is Ski Dude, and peace!